Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. Let's continue right where we left off. We got onto this grand ship. We did all the shopping and all that stuff, so let's talk to this guy. What are we gonna do? You wouldn't happen to be Zatz, would you? Yeah, who's asking? The tavern proprietress wanted us to find you. Let's go. Alright then, I'm coming. Uh, what a mess. Yeah, what do you need help with, bud? You need someone to defend ya or something? I'll be someone up, straight up. I've already killed a couple hundred people in this game, so. What's another couple? roaming around in that state like I said it's not that bad just a little bruise on the ribs that's all what were you asking the council for back there aid we need their support I'm from the city of Eisenberg far to the west of here Eisenberg that's where the fire crystal is that's right. There was an uprising, and now we're in the middle of a civil war. The shield bears are losing ground, and unless we can do something, we'll be defeated. So, these shield bearers are the faction you're aligned with? That's right. The shield bears have served as the protectors of Eisenberg for centuries. But a few years ago, a group called the Sword Bearers rebelled. We've been at war ever since. They are but few in number, truth be told. What? Why are the shield bearers losing to a smaller force? The sword bearers we can handle, but they have powerful foreign mercenaries on their side. Foreign mercenaries? They wouldn't happen to call themselves the Black Blades, would they? Yeah, that's them. Wait, are you with those mercenaries as well? No, don't worry. We mean you no harm. Idea, are these Black Blade mercenaries linked to the Eternian forces? Yes. The Black Blades is the moniker of the First Division of the Eternian forces. My master's unit. Uh, Zatz, can you tell us what happened to the Fire Vestal? We heard she had <laughs> perished. Yeah. The sword bears got hold of her around three years ago. She was killed? Assassinated. When the bloody conflict reached an impasse, the sword bears raided the Temple of Fire. Sacrilege! What of the Vestaling, the Fire Vestal's successor? There was one, but she met the same fate. How awful. It falls to me, then. We must hurry to the temple. You're going to the Temple of Fire? You won't get anywhere near it now, I'm afraid. A few weeks ago, Mount Karka erupted, and the whole temple is a sea of lava now. Nevertheless, we must find a way. Let us hurry to Eisenberg. I don't suppose you could take me with you. My friends are waiting for my return. Have you given up on finding support here? The war will be over before too long. I can't afford to wait any longer. Are you okay with us taking him aboard, Agnes? Very well. Let's do it. Thanks! I owe you one! Alright, let's go. Let's go fight. If I'm remembering correctly, Adia's master is a samurai-looking dude in the opener, so it looks like we're gonna be fighting some samurai. Which I'm cool. I just smacked my mic. I'm cool with that. Eisenberg is far to the west of here. You'll see a little harbor when we hit land. We can go ashore there. The lads should be waiting for me in the area. Don't even think about landing on the north coast. The sword bears hold sway up there, so it's dicey.
Okay. To the west we go then. Yeah, so it looks like that right continent is the water and the wind. Now we're in the fire and then above in the continent it's probably going to be the earth, earth one, right? That's what I'm guessing. And Caldistal is right in the middle. How cute. Um, ooh. I'm curious about something. Can I go to Caldisla super quick so I could just grab a summon? Yes, here he is. This is this is the one that I was thinking of. So yes, give me. Yes. Oh wait, no, no. Yes, I do want to. Yes, the mouthpiece of. Uh, okay. Now, yes, I do. Bring it. I, I want this summon. Are we able to withstand it? Oh, I'm not full health. No, that's alright. I think I'll be fine. It's like a plane bird. We survived. Splendid. Okay, cool. New summon. You'll love to see it. Okay. Well then now, she's a teleport stone. Let's get out of here. Alright, anyway, that's literally all I wanted to do. I just wanted to grab that summon super, super quickly because, um, you know. If, we, if I ever do decide to use a summoner, which is honestly not very likely because they are one of the worst classes in the game. They just don't really have any utility. You know, maybe. Okay, guys, that little trade is over. Let's continue to where we're actually supposed to be going here. Great! We made it! Leave the rest to me! What's the plan? The dock at the cottage we're heading to is too small to moor this ship. My mates will ferry us over in a smaller boat. It'll take a couple of trips. Got it. Zats, you had us worried. Good to see you still in one piece. Likewise, Dats. Looks like we're all here. Don't worry about the ship. This harbor is nice and sheltered, so it'll be fine. The peninsula hides it from any prying eyes on the open sea, too. How are you healing up, Dats? I'm fine. Just a little sore back now. This body's tough as nails, as you can see. I'm lucky to still be breathing after facing the blade of that Swordmaster, though. <laughs> Swordmaster? What is it? Oh, nothing. Thanks for bringing Zats back to us. We appreciate it. Not at all. We'd have never made it ashore without Zats to navigate. After seeing you in action, I have a favor to ask. Would you meet with our leader? What's this about, Zets? Listen, Dads. These guys are top-notch fighters. They were knocking the blocks off monsters like it was nothing. I couldn't get Grandship on our side, but with these guys to back us up... Please, you've got to help the Shield Bears. I'll never ask another thing of you. You want us? to help you win the war? The sword bearers betrayed us, and they have the Fire Vestal's blood on their hands. Don't think they'll stop when they conquer Eisenberg. They plan to plunder other regions next. We can't let them run rampant. They must be stopped, and for that we need you. Unacceptable. On, yes. We cannot afford to get caught up in a conflict now. We must awaken the crystal at the Temple of Fire. That is my task as a vessel of the crystals. We have no time to wage war. You're a vestal? You? 
Anya's is the Wind Vestal. She's trying to save the world, so don't get in her way. Ah, what's that scrawny little thing? A Christ fairy, they say. Gave me a start the first time I saw it as well. You don't say. I never imagined a Vestal would be so young, or that you keep company with such an odd creature. Hey, watch who you're calling odd. I might forgive you if you tell us how to get to the Temple of Fire. The Temple of Fire? All the roads there were blocked by lava. Hmm. Our commander might know something. The shield bearers have been trying to find a way through for a while. Well, whether we join forces with the shield bearers or not, let's at least talk with their commander, Agnes. Fair enough. Something you want to ask? Mm. Four years ago, a hundred thousand soldiers garrisoned in the north were wiped out. The work of the sword bearers. That triggered the civil war that still drags on now. The sword bearers slaughtered their own brethren. Their forces couldn't hold a candle to our own. But they hired scores of formidable mercenaries. These mercenaries were skilled and disciplined, and they fought with astonishing ferocity. The shield bearers still had a big edge in numbers. We were no match for them. That's not all. The mercenaries also taught the sword bearers a despicable practice. Use of a vile, inhumane weapon. Toxic mist. They used it to eradicate our forces in the East City. In one night, we lost 100,000 soldiers. Deadly fumes hung over the entire battlefield. The land was rendered uninhabitable. But the sword bearers didn't stop there. They raided the Temple of Fire, and the Fire Vestal fell prey. Without the Vestal, the Fire Crystal could not be controlled, causing Mount Karka to erupt violently. Since then, the shield bearers have been struggling just to defend our positions. At that point, things looked grim, so we headed to Grand Ship to seek reinforcements. But we ran into the mercenary leader, and our squad was wiped out. We're all that's left. Now the sword bearers and shield bearers are locked in battle at Eisenbridge. If they break our lines, the shield... Until now, the sea routes were closed, so neither shield bearers nor sword bearers could be reinforced from outside. That's the only reason we've held out so long. Now that ships are running again, our future hangs by a thread. Something you want to ask? They say this realm was... F this militia came to rule the land, and over many years split into two factions serving different purposes. The shield bearers protected the Temple of Fire and the Fire Vestal, while the sword bearers repelled any foreign invaders. This was... It was an age of peace for Eisenberg, with crystallism as the official religion and the Fire Vestal revered by all. Over time, the shield bearers and the shield bearers fought only to protect the peace. Most people fell into this group. We may not act like it, but we have proper ranks too. I'm a corporal, as is Zatz here. The sword bearers sought to invade other realms and expand our territory. Of course, few harbor such radical ideas. Most turned a deaf ear to them. No one expected them to take up arms against their countrymen. And now these rebels have the upper hand against the shield bearers. Something you want to... Eisenberg is a land dotted with many active... Thanks to all the volcanic activity, this is the one place in the world where Ori Calcum can be mined. Our main industries are mining, but mi This realm was founded by the forces stationed. Powerful garrisons guarded the north. Despite that, we never... That's how we built a nation in this barren land. While protecting... Everyone was a devout follower of crystallism. There... Okay. That is all Something of the... Eisenberg Oop. is thanked this... A button. This that is all of the voice lines. Heaven. Didn't mean to ask another one there. Something you want to ask? Nope. Oh. Okay. 
just want to make sure I get all of the story here. Let's get going then. The shield bearers are based in the west, but we have to take the long way around. We'll need to go south a bit first. Once we're through, head back northward. Keep your eyes peeled as well. We could be set upon at any time. Okay. Party chat. The shoreline baths. Hey, Dads, what's that smoke rising over the coast? Well, that steam from the natural hot spring. A vein of magma empties into the sea there, heating the water. Wow, a real hot spring. They say the water works wonders on cuts and scrapes, even burns. And, uh, see that cape out there? That's, that one's a mixed bath. Everyone in one big tub. Huh? Ring a bell. Where are you? Wow, he is nearly out of sight. Heck of a pair of legs on that guy. Is it alright to let him go? We'll be hearing screams from the cape in no time. Nah, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Around this time... Oh, that's right. The mix ought to be... Nice footwork. You must have been training since we last met, my unworthy disciple. Master. Uh, Master? So you are the sword master leading the mercenaries then? The head of the Black Blades, my old master. I wish it weren't so. I wanted to believe you were not capable of such a thing. Tell me, Master. What business have you aiding the sword bearers in their rebellion? Was it your intention to plunge this peaceful country into war? I ask you back. Do you understand the gravity of what you have done? I hear you have taken up with a Vestal, and now you have released two crystals to run out of control. Foolish. You always did have a habit of running with your emotions, not seeing the big picture. You've not changed a bit. What big picture? You cannot be so deluded as to think starting wars can be justified. You are still a child if you are only able to see war as right or wrong. You are yet naive. I cannot allow a foundling such as yourself to meddle in the fate of the crystals. Though you are my disciple, and the beloved daughter of a dear friend, I will cut you down with my own blade if you continue this folly, and expose the world to danger. <sighs> Commander! Commander Kameizumi! The Swordbearer forces have started withdrawing! What? Can they not understand such basic tactics? We have the Vestal within our grasp, but we cannot let our allies be run down like dogs. Call off the attack on the Shieldbearer headquarters. We must withdraw swiftly and go to the aid of the Swordbearers. Yes, sir! Wait! Master! Idea. Are you ready to face the consequences of your decision? If you still insist on defying me the next we meet, I shall slay you where you stand. Regardless of how you and I may will it, these are the grave circumstances we find ourselves in. Disciple of the Blade, no more of your insubordination will be tolerated. Understood?
Is that everyone? Commander! The ship thought to be harboring the Wind Vestal has been sighted in the waters near Grand Ship. The Wind Vestal has already arrived in these lands. I spoke with her myself a while ago, Barbarossa. Oh? Please tell me you have not captured her yet. I would hate to miss out on that honor. <laughs> no, we did not get the chance. Some of our forces were retreating, so we opted to aid our allies as they withdrew. <laughs> did you not think capturing the vessel should take me? Residence, sword master. <laughs> this will not do. If we leave the Wind Vestal to her devices, we shall only repeat our failures in Caldisla and Anshai. The Wind Vestal is here for the crystal. She is no threat while the way to the temple is closed. Given the state of the war, preventing losses is crucial. The Vestal can wait. And how does your task progress, Kada? I hear the cleansing of the East City is not yet even half complete. D I'm doing all that I can! Things are going as well as can be expected. Very well then. Moving on, what is the situation at the Eisen Bridge, Praline? Oh, me? Um... Nothing's really changed there, I guess. I'm sure all the soldiers there are doing their best to make me happy, though. Those shield bearers just don't know when to quit. They won't let us cross the bridge. I put on a smile and sang my best, but nothing. They're a bunch of sour pusses. Oh well, if they can't appreciate my golden voice, it's their loss. Those poor, miserable shield bearers. If you can keep the main contingent of the shield bearers pinned down, all shall go as planned. Got it! I won't let you down! Praline Alamode never disappoints! More importantly, have we found a way into the Temple of Fire? He's talking to you, Konoe. Speak up for a change, Konoe! Your open is starting to kick me down. It is your killing of the fire vessel that blocked off the way to the temple. After all, I cannot fathom how one so imprudent came to lead a covert force. I won't be called imprudent by a floundering fool like you. A report on my findings has already been submitted in writing. The way into the Temple of Fire via the southern route by way of the town of Hearthchild has also been blocked by lava, and it's not possible to get through via above ground routes. We are looking into the possibility of the existence of secret passages used by temple worshippers. That is all. Still can't talk unless disguised. That must keep you busy. <laughs> we should follow up on Konoe's report. Was there any way into the temple by sea? We looked at a number of landed points, but it doesn't look possible. The coastline there is sheer palisades. All the low ground where a landing might have been possible was covered by lava. Not even I could bring a ship in safely there. If we just sit idly by, the Wind Vestal will get there before us. <laughs> we must avoid that at all costs. Our objective at this time is to focus on finding a way into the temple. I wish all of you good luck in your endeavors. That will be all. You can return to your duties. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and save right here, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to like and comment as a well as my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.